You know, they say revenge is a dish best served cold. And let's be honest, it's mid-November and we're heading to North Wales. It's going to be absolutely freaking Baltic. Hi, right, welcome to the channel if you're new here and welcome back if you've been here before. As always, the timing on this one, let's be honest, to be fair, has pretty much gone to shit. Uh, I wanted to leave at one o'clock and it's mm, half past one now and I'm still running around picking bits up and organising things. But, got to be honest, what I'm about to pick up, ooh, ho, ho, we've been talking about this one for a while, people that have been around regular and yeah, I'm finally going to get it, the cooler box. So, I'm going to get myself downtown about 10 miles and pick ourselves up something that might save my stomach to be fair and hopefully leaving me needing the spade upgrade a lot less than i now do <laughs> got it but this thing is massive oh man that's gonna be way too big oh my days i might have to downsize oh my days absolutely super psyched with this one let's check it out sitting snugly in the footwell of the passenger seat a 24 litre bad boy box of icy cold goodness no longer will we have brown bacon or cheese on our milk and it pretty much fits pretty snugly sorry about the light um i've managed to like just pull the seat back and i've still got the bed in nice and snug everything fits sweet so ho, ho, time to get ourselves back to the crib sort everything out and get on the road so let's do it cheers Ross. Yeah, right. oh, i'm not being funny or anything but who has lsd on the back of their car is this dude tripping or what Whoa. Oh, I'm losing all my shopping. Nightmare. Hey. Well, one thing's for sure. It's three in the afternoon now and I've still got a load of stuff to do. So we're either going to be leaving in the dead or night or we're going to be leaving early doors in the morning. So let's get stuff loaded up and see how it rolls. I think it's fair to say we didn't make it with a light. South by seven at night, it's 150 miles to Wales, and it's a Saturday. There should be some sick ass tunes on the radio, so I'm thinking we pump them up and we get rolling towards the hills and mountains of Wales. Let's do it. <laughs> This one as we're on the road as i say we're going to be heading to the snowdonia national park like due west 150 miles from my city and i've got a bit of a mission to be fair the reason i called it revenge is because if you watch the series you'll know a few months ago we actually went to snowdonia and we got bailed out by the weather didn't manage to climb snowden and we ended up climbing something else so hopefully this time we can hit the peak and tick it off the list We've got two days and two nights pretty much in North Wales and I've got a number of things I want to try and hit. I've got a boffy, I've got a beach and I've even got a cliff top chill out on top of hitting Snowden to try and hit and check out along the next couple of days. As you saw earlier, pretty much everything's already been sorted in the back. I did stop at a little corner shop to pick up some bits and check out what I saw in there. Let's go have to look at this for tonight, please. And that, along 
from a few other sneaky bits has been loaded up into the brand new cooler box. It's quarter past eight now, the sat nav's being pretty optimistic. It's saying about another two and three quarter hours, which I figure that's gonna hit us down at about 11 o'clock tonight. I'm more thinking we're probably gonna get there about midnight after we've had a little pit stop, but time for a few more tunes and a bit more road work. Let's do it. Oh shit, there's been an accident, oh shit. Yo, bro, let me in, bro. What are you being a Muppet for? You guys all right? Shit, that looks a mess. He's had a tire blowout. Wow, oh, thank God they're okay. I gotta be honest, believe it or not, with all the night time driving I do on the channel, I'm not actually much of a fan of driving at night. I much prefer the daytime. I don't know, I mean, I'm not the greatest driver, but it just seems to be a lot more Terry Fockwicks around in the night time than there is at day. Oh, nice, we're getting the first signs for Mid and North Wales. Pretty sweet. I hope we get a service this more importantly in a minute though, because I'm gasping for a pit stop. On my days as a sign for services, thank goodness. I am literally tying things in knots at the minute. I gotta stop. I have no idea what this freaking thing's called. The Shenaffle Services or something. Gold lows. Oh, the Shifnal. Shifnal Services. Righto. Bit of a random name. Oh mate, come on. Oh my days, quick, quick, quick. Wowza. Oh my God. All my days, no messing, I'm gonna burst. I gotta get out of here. Oh my days, check this out. I was worried about rushing to the toilet and I went out and bought a five gallon tub of mocha caffeine explosion. I'm gonna be leaving a trail the whole way from here to Snowdonia. Right, I think I'm gonna load this up and pull out one of my moldy cheese sandwiches that I made yesterday, should still be good, and get back on the road. But uh, check this out, this is pretty cool. Well, or maybe not, it's pretty noisy. Um, I don't know if you can hear it. But I'll tell you what, it's cold in there. Oh, I mean, it's not ice cold, don't get me wrong, but it is cold. Ah, oh, no more brown bacon. green on the sat nav the place names are getting pretty much unpronounceable land golem and we're getting a little bit of drizzle so i think we're uh, pretty much in wales now it's fair to say wow. great pit stop <laughs> Middle of nowhere, getting there, all right, feeling good, oh yeah. <laughs> Game on then, let's do it. 15 more miles, all right. Slight left. Yeah, here we go. Turn off for Betsy Cohen. Familiar old ground, nice. Fingers crossed we got some company when we get there. So, we're coming to the town of Capel Keurig, but uh, yeah, this is where I set the sat nav to. This ain't really where I want to be. I'm going to have to like reevaluate in a second, see if I can pull over. Oi, oi, oi. Well, I've reset the sat nav to Lambaris, and if I kind of like recenter, ah, uh, yeah, like we're near some lakes. So, yeah, I think we just go straight. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, pucker, I just missed it with a camera, but uh, we're most definitely on the right bit. We just passed like three campers and a car all parked up. So, what I'm thinking is, we have stayed down this road before, so what I'm going to do is just drive down this road and see if I can find like a spot where there's another camper for a bit of company for the night and then just park up there. So, in fact, there might be one here. Well, that's a car. Well, I don't know about that. That was cars. Could have been shaggers. They look like they've got steamed up windows. I'm not too sure I want to park there. Maybe I'll go back up where the campers were. Oh, wait up. we got campers. We're good. I'm going here. Check it out. This is a big spot as well. Oh, where to go? At the back or at the front? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's not be a butt munch with the main beam. Oh, shit. 
shit. Sorry. Uh, there's not much space. I think I'm going to spin it around and go at the back end. All right, let's do it. We got a spot. We're happy days for the night. Sick as a dog. Company and security for the night. Pretty sweet. We're good. I don't want to go too close to the dude. Damn, I can still hear the fan going. Oh, one thing we need to do is make sure we unplug this little bad boy. Ah, ah. Whew, done. Oh man, I can't believe it. it's 10 to midnight. That's pretty damn late. I'm not gonna mess about. I'm gonna get everything set up and probably just bail straight to bed, but let's do it. Well, I appreciate it's pretty dark, but the crib's all set up, ready to rumble. And I gotta tell you, it's really fresh outside. It's about seven degrees. It's not cold, but it's nice and fresh, if you know what I mean. Right. <laughs> Let's close the lid and get comfort. Right, I'm not going to mess about. It is about quarter past midnight and I really want to get to bed so I can get up relatively early. But I do have one last sort of upgrade to show you before I go to bed, the one that we've all been waiting for really, just for the safety, the old carbon monoxide tester or sort of a monitor. So, fear not, if I breathe out too much carbon monoxide in the middle of the night, this little puppy dog's gonna wake me up with a massive loud alarm. <laughs> it's pretty loud to be fair. It wasn't cheap, it was about 15, 17 pounds, but gonna be worth it in the long run. Right, it's gonna be sweet as here. I've got three other campers next to me. There's going to be no bother, there's a little bit of passing traffic, but I'm going to get my head down. Fingers crossed there will be no trouble, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Let's do it. Well, we've woke up at an okay time. Oh, let's see what the world's saying. Oh, man. Oh, it's a little bit grey, but that looks pretty sweet. Oh, my days, Snowden's looking well sweet. A little bit of blue sky going on. Nice. Ah, right by the lake as well. Not a bad little spot. <laughs> All right, milk time. So, no mess in this morning, it's already half past nine. I want to try and make a good early start up on Snowden. Uh, I think I'm going to drive over there, get some food on, and then take it from there. So, let's get over there. Wow, absolute stunning scenery this morning, man. Buzzing on this one, not going to lie. Oh my days. Arr, I knew it was going to be one of them where like the buzz sort of slowly comes on. You know, we left in the dead of night, not too much to get excited about. And then, booyaka shack, we wake up to the Welsh mountains and all this epic scenery. Oh man, this was a decent idea. Really stoked. And for you those that have seen the series and saw the Wales trip from a few months ago, you might be wondering why I'm heading towards the Penwide Pass car park at the minute. And the reason is because after checking on the internet, it turns out like they've, they've dropped the prices. I guess we're out of season now. Uh, and instead of 25, 30 pounds to park your car for a single day, it's down to 10 pounds. It's still not cheap as hell, but it's doable. And it's just gonna make things so much easier than pissing about trying to catch a freaking bus somewhere and park about six, seven miles from where I want to be. It's just not happening. So I'm going to pay 10 pounds and we're going to hit the actual car park. But, uh, oh, mate, good morning, world. It's not every day you see a little view like that, little puppy dog. I am happy days on this one. Let's get over there. Looking good. Oh, man, it looks busy. Damn. I didn't expect it to be this busy. I guess the drop in price is, uh, oh, shit, this could be bad. This could be really bad. I might not even get in here. Oh, mate. What the friggle. Oh, mama. Oh. Oh, no.
Are you gonna tell me you're full? Are you full? We are full, yes. Oh shit. You... Oh, that didn't go well. This is not going well. It's not a great start. Didn't expect the bloody thing to be full. Wow. I can't believe it's full at 10 o'clock in the morning. That sucks ass. Oh my days. Well, there's a lay-by here, but it looks completely full. Oh, this is full. This is a bad, this, this has not gone to plan. Let's be fair. Wow, what a lay-by. Holy shit. Oh my days. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know what to do now. The walk back up there is gonna take me about an hour at least. Maybe I can get the park and ride bus, but I think it's gonna fraggle everything up for tonight, trying to get over to Anglesey with some light, but screw that, I figure. We'll cook up some munch, we'll check out the bus times, and then we'll just do Snowden, and then we'll take it from there. Oh, mate, Snowden bites again. It's slapping me in the ass again. Well, I think it's fair to say that this one's not going to plan. <laughs> I can't believe the car park's absolutely full. The last time we were here, it was like half empty, but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to end up getting the bus. I think I'm going to end up hiking up the road like everybody else around here is doing. But uh, And in terms of getting back in time for Anglesey, well, you know, if we drive in the dark, we drive in the dark. It is what it is. I think we just make the best of it, you know? There's nothing we can do about it. So I'm gonna eat my bacon sandwich, I'm gonna get my bits together, and it's probably gonna be about half past 11 when we bail up towards Snowdon, but hey, let's get it on. We're buzzing, we're in Wales. I'm right. <sighs> Well, I'm not gonna lie, the one factor we didn't consider on this trip was people. There's absolutely teeming with people. Ah, one good thing though, we've all been messing about getting ready in my bacon sandwich. It's now about 20 past 11 and, fingers crossed, there's a bus in 10 minutes, so we ain't gonna walk up that hill. Nice! And I'm not gonna lie, check out the scenery. I'm buzzing already, wicked. Nice, gonna be a good day. Happy days, we made the bus. He nearly left us, we nearly didn't make it. Yeah, bye. Thanks very much. Take care, man. Alright, let's do this. Nice. Looking like a good, clear day. So, a bit of a whip. I'm going to start the trail over here. I normally start the trail back there and it cuts around. So, I hope this one uh, joins it at some point. But we do have the option. I'm going to take a quick look at it. Have Crib got the actual rocky route. But I think what I'm gonna do today is the normal miners route or the pig trap. Um, simply because it's a nice hike. I'm not really up for like scaling cliffs and stuff and being on a windy top, even though it's a beautiful day. I'm pretty much just here for the views and to enjoy it to be fair. And you know what? It's nice temperatures, it's not windy. And with views like this, oh my days. This is gonna be a buzz. Five minutes into the trail and check this out. I mean, oh my days. Happy days. Welcome to Wales, everybody. Welcome to North Wales. All right. Oh man, I got a smile from ear to ear. I'm proper buzzing. Oh, Wales, yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> I'm so psyched to be here, I really am. This is really what I needed just to get away from Leicester. I'm getting the wilderness. We got it. Loving it.
Well, I'm not going to lie, this is pretty cool. I've never actually done this trail. I've done the trail that I said earlier, and I've also done the trail up from Lamberis, but uh, yeah, different views. Normally you get the lakes and bits. I guess we're going to get that in a bit, but this is a nice start. I mean, hey, what a backdrop. Right. <sighs> Upward and onward, hey, hey, hey. Well, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that spooky looking ridge line there is the old crib gut. I think this trail is going to go like cut round to it, so looks like we're at Decision Corner. Um, let's just take a quick look. Oh, wow, nice. Yeah, so I can follow the normal pig track, minor track, or I can cut up to Crib Gok here. You know what, it wasn't planned, but I think I'm going to go take a look at the actual first bit, because that's supposed to be the steepest bit. Once you're up there, it's just sort of a ridge line that you follow, so... If it's too sketchy, we bail back and follow the normal route, and if it looks okay, maybe we'll do it. What? Let's go take a look. I'm not being funny, though. Is it me? I mean, that looks pretty imposing, man. Oi. Nightmare. Might be biting off a bit more than we can chew here. Damn. The closer I get, the more imposing it looks. And I hadn't planned this, so I've got no map saved, I've got no phone signal, and if I go up there, I'm kind of just going to be, like, winging it on instinct, so... Hey, could be a bit sketchier. And there were four people that had gone in front of me I was hoping to follow, but I don't seem to see them anymore. Oi. Woo! Well, I think it's fair to say the trail's opening up a little bit. Oh my days. What a view. Buzzing. Oh. And the weather for November is absolutely perfect. It's not too cold, not too windy. Real nice. I think we might be getting close to the point of no return. We're kind of losing the trailer and it's starting to be a scramble. But I do see somewhere up there, you might not see it, but there's some people scrambling up, doing it in a blue top. I guess that's the way. It does look bloody sketchy. Oh, mate. Well, I'm not being funny, but... This thing looks dodgy, man. Look at those little people up there. Where are they going? Oh my days, what am I doing here? This is a gnarly one. Okay, so it looks like a relatively normal sort of winding trail up to about this point. And then there's that last little bit where you're gonna have to scramble and climb. I don't normally do it, but hey, let's get some good luck. What a view. Oh man, sweet. Right, that's the end of anything resembling a trail and the start of a mad scramble and I'm not lying. That thing does look pretty imposing and I'm feeling a little bit anxious about going up there, but... I don't know, I think that's the toughest bit. Once that bit's done, we're, we're on a ridge line and we should be good, but yeah, time for the head cam. Wasn't. <laughs> <clears throat> Gotta be honest, I'm not too sure what to expect from this. Even though I've read about it like quite a while ago, it was quite a while ago, and I pretty much forgot what everybody said. So we're uh, climbing into the unknown a little bit. But come on, should be alright. People do get rescued off this ridge by helicopter, it does happen. But, uh, we should be all right. Uh, you just got to kind of find your own route. Oh. <clears throat> I hope you don't climb yourself into a position where you can't turn back. <sighs> oh man, proper. This is proper here. Smooth ass rocks as well, not cool. Um, all my days. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Oh, it's beating. I'm on my freaking own here as well. Damn. Whew. Hey. Ah, there are two people coming up behind me, but that ain't much help. Damn it. This is when you want to be about eight foot tall, so you've got massive long reach instead of a four foot dwarf. 
<laughs> not quite four foot, but I wish I was. I'm, I'm closer to four foot than eight foot. <laughs> All right. I'm not lying. This is sketchy. And it's wet. Damn. Oh my days. And could like scramble my way into a point of no return, to be fair. Oh fuck. You know like climbing. Climbing you just can't get back down. Oh, <laughs> don't want to be doing that. Well, I think it's fair to say we're at the point of no return here. Oh, mate, I can't go back. i got to go up. I think this is the last little bit. I don't know, maybe over here somewhere. Definitely not up the slippy stuff, and I don't like the look of that overhand. Oh, yeah. We've hiked ourselves into a real spot here. Oh my days, but what a view, wow. <laughs> Can't believe we've hiked ourselves into like a no return spot, nightmare. Okay, let's do it. And of course, there's absolutely nobody to follow. Oh man. Heart's pumping. I'm gonna lie. Trying not to look down, just looking up. All right. Oh man, yeah, baby. All right. Hey, this is a spot for a pit stop for shiz. Let's do it. Tea this time. Remember the tea bags. Well, it kind of looks and feels like we're past the steepest bit now. I'm guessing once we get to the top, we just got the ridge line. But uh, yeah, check out what I got below me. It's pretty dang steep. I wouldn't want to go back down that way, to be honest. But wow, we got some sick old views. Really stoked. Look at this cloud over these hilltops. So nice. Right, last bit up to the ridge. Let's do it. Looks a lot less sketchy now. There were some nasty bits down there. I had to turn back a couple of times, eh? Not good. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I thought we'd be up here a little bit quicker. Damn! Look at those dudes down there. You can see how steep it is. Wow. This took us an hour and a half to get to the top, eh? Ah, an hour and 20 and I got another 10 minutes. So, should be good. Whew. Damn, it's steep. Well, I'm not gonna lie, it's been hard work. It's been a bit freaking emotional as well. Got my heart beating like a bad boy. But, yowza, where the fuck are we? Huh? I thought this was a ridge. Oh my days. Let's get up here and see what's going down. Or going on, or going up. I don't know what's going on. Ah, yeah. This looks like the spot. All right. Yeah, baby. Woo! Top of the mountain, baby. Yeah. Ah. 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 Oh, totally buzzing. Really am. What a freaking view from up here. Well, just sitting here having a brew, thinking like I've done all the hard bit and it should be okay from here on in, but uh. I don't really know where I'm going. I'm assuming that's Snowden at the top there. And I'm assuming I need to follow this. Look how sketchy this little bit looks. Somewhere down and then maybe up again and across. There is a trail over there as well. But yeah, no maps, no GPS. Totally winging it. Oh, hey, and uh, no one else around now. Woohoo.